Hello everyone and welcome back to Space Quest V, The Next Mutation. Uh, it was a while ago since I played this game now and I'm trying to remember what the hell I was doing but I see here we are at the genetics lab. So we just need to go down and get out of the chair without making any, too many weird noises. But we have to go down to the surface and find out what the hell has been going on. Wait, I, I forgot something. We should probably try and get... Wow, they're working so hard here, aren't they? Damn slackers. <laughs> now, let's ask Flo. Uh, hail the planet. Hailing, sir. There's no response, Captain. I don't think there's anyone down there. I think I should probably try to remember the voices for the different characters in this game too, that I made up last time. Wow. Well, I hope I won't do WD-40 again for a while. It's an annoying voice to make. Well, it's hard for me to make because I'm not a very good Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonator. Wow. That's good fixing, Cliffy. Seriously. I'm hoping my voice is uh, going over all the sounds because it seemed like it was a bit loud. I think I'm going to lower the volume a little bit. It's just when I look at the volume control, it seems a bit odd. Just one moment, okay? Okay. Much better. I just changed a little bit here. Uh, oh, come on. Why is it so hard suddenly? There we go. That's a good boy, and they're playing Pong. There. Energize! Oh, fuck. Cliffy, you fucked up. Seriously. What the hell? Looks like you've had a zany transporter blooper, Rog. Rog, quick! Get a camera! Galactic Inquirer will pay you 10 bakasoys if you publish your photo. Nice going. And there's my body running off. Yay! I'm a fly, I'm a fly. Yeah, and I even have a fly icon. Whee! Oop! Okay, I did not see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> You taste as good as you crunch. Damn. That was harsh. Okay. Let's try that again then. <laughs> oh my goodness. I did not consider that would happen at all. When you're going down to the planet. <clears throat> okay. Let's try again then. And to make sure that I should not try to do a close-up on the screen. <laughs> or I'll get eaten by something stupid. Uh, energize is going to break. The Galactic Inquirer. Do they have the inter intergalactical most funniest home videos too, maybe? Rog would be the winner several years in a row if there was. Yeah. Body running off. I'm okay. I'm still alive. Yeah, I thought I could get to the screen because he flies really close and all these plants seem to be like to eat stuff. I'm going to save now because it's me we're talking about here. Because I'm... I tend to fuck fa up a lot. So we have this thing. We have the communicator. But I'm, I'm guessing I might be too light to actually use it. That's where Flo's cheerful visage would appear if you could only activate the communicator's transmit key. And I only have those two, so... I, I guess I can't. I'm, I'm too light. I'm just a fly. I need to find something to help me. Oh, stay away from that shit. It would be interesting to turn into a fly, just to see what happened. 
Roger, don't get too close to the screen, there might be flowers here. Uh, all right, I think I know what to do. Ah! Ah! Did that work? Yeah, it worked! Uh, come on, Roger, can you do something? Yeah, we have the communicator on. So now, Flo looks a bit put out, but then she usually is. <sighs> but how... Oh, right, I, I have a talk icon. Can somebody up there explain to me how the captain of a starship can be reduced to a common housefly? Yuck, you look hideous, Captain. Thanks for the pep talk, Flo. Tell Cliffy to get down here, now! I'll inform him of your predicament, sir. But the transporter is malfunctioning again. Oh, really? I hadn't noticed. Captain. Census has located a large underground structure to the west of your position. Why don't you go and check it out while we work on the transporter problem? I'll do that, Flo, but please tell Cliffy to get down here ASAP. We'll go out. There we go. That's how you did it. I've forgotten entirely how to play this game. Ah! <laughs> But yeah, that's the place where we're going. It's actually, for once, it's quite a visible slot. Oh, look at that. Um, Savey the gamey? Um, I guess? Uh, saving Cliff is saving... There we go, that's the one I was looking for. Alright. Aha! Uh -huh. That one opens. That one doesn't. Yeah, this is uh, actually uh, one of the puzzles. Alright, you need to make a clip card to... Yeah, okay, I get it. It's a key card to get inside the genetics lab. Well, look at that, here it is. Here's the lab. What do we have here? It, this appears to be some kind of genetic research laboratory. Advanced machinery, experiment cages, and specimen containers containing bizarre creatures are found throughout the room. Well, that's cool, isn't it? But we have a computer here. This computer workstation appears to be functional. Prepare for exposition, people! Danger! Emergency jettison sequence activated. Dome jettison will occur in 0000. Jettison complete. Okay. We play God, so you don't have to. Oh, well, that's a nice one. Okay, well, here we go. Systems. What does it say here? What's that? Envirodome. Data link not functional. Data link not functional. Ah! Standby power backup computing systems activate. Active, I mean. Let's have a look at the security cams. Come on. Well, that's my body. This is the picture from the surveillance camera in the... something. Well, my body is hiding inside a big dumpster. That's camera th two, and... Ah, there they are, finally! It's about time Cliffy fixed that dang transporter. I'm really gonna bug him about this one for a long time. They can't hear you. Yeah, I know. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, let's see now. Activity blog. Log. 182120. Yeah, it seems to start there. Station OUB12. Activated. User 453 logged on to mainframe as station OUB. OU18B, maybe. Astro Chicken 3, Hen House of Doom program initiated. Hen House of Doom terminated. 
Log off mainframe. Level 3 auto security alert issued. Comlink failure. Authorization 453 verified. Uh huh. Level 1 priority alpha security alert. Intruder alert. Auto fire suppression system activated. Shuttle bay 1. Structural integrity failure. Dome 1 depressurized. System failure mainframe offline. Backup in internet activated. Emergency computing systems activated. System power failure. Emergency power activated. Okay. Emergency evacuation. Abandoned station. Uh, scuttle program. Failsafe reached. Scuttle program. We have this on. Okay, so. Oh, shit. Damn. Didn't mean to do that. Let's try again. So, and. Once more up. Yeah, that's where we got to. Scuttle procedure completed. Dome 2, jettison and detonated. Dome 3, procedure aborted. Authorization and analog verified. Pa power stabilized. Okay. okay, dome 3 sealed. So, it used to be much more, and it's this dome only left now. Let's see now. Projects. Primordial Soup. Feasibility study of metabacterial transformations in terraforming and space colony applications. Project Goal. To create a survivable and highly adaptable metabacteria to enable terraforming on planets currently unsuitable for human hab habitation. The metabacteria will serve as a base for an artificial food chain on selected planets, synthesizing complex proteins as a natural byproduct of its metabolism. To put it in terms of the layman, it will eat poison, giving off water, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and producing a rich organic base that other introduced organisms can feed upon. In essence, in essence, the metabacteria will create a living primordial soup. That's kind of fascinating, isn't it? Experimental summary. After three months of preliminary trials, the bacterial strain Cassius velox has shown the greatest promise. The vigor of the species is impressive, and its astonishing reproductive rate makes it an ideal candidate for our purposes. So, a new terraforming technique. Primary experimental trials will bombard Cassius velox... Cassius velox? with hard radiation to confirm hardiness and test adaptive ability. Placing a petri dish of the bacteria behind a computer monitor for a period of hours will expose it to hard radiation <laughs> conditions similar to those on an uninhabitable planet class D. Later, we shall repeat the procedure using a safer type of radiation, such as a gamma ray source. <laughs> well, that's how it was in the old days with the old fat monitors. <laughs> the radiation was serious on those things. Science log, star date 3234.22. Initial results with the Cassius Velux are encouraging. It thrives in the radiation environment as long as adequate food sources are provided. We are well on our way towards engineering the first true metabacteria. A few specimens have manifested undesirable genomes after successive trials. Steps will be taken to full to call the recessives so that the entire population isn't compromised. Science log star date 3237.12. I believe we have discovered and removed all remaining undesirable latent genetic traits in Metacasius Velox. The next step will be to introduce live mice into an environment prepared by Metacasius. Science log, star date 3243.19. Several subjects have demonstrated te teratogenic side effects as a result of the ingesting the primordial soup, Gestalt. The mice have turned into slimy, foul smelling, bad tempered meta rodents with attitudes. It seems that Metacassius uh, has infected the DNA of the mice much like a virus. This is an unprecedented event. Further stu study is indicated. Science log, star date 3252.06. The experiment is not progressing well. Several test subjects have begun mutating wildly. 
The morphology of the creatures is singularly unrodent-like. They resemble nothing so much as ambulatory piles of goo with teeth. The only thing which appears to have any effect on an infected specimen, short of killing it, is the application of extreme cold at temperature below minus 200 degrees Celsius. Cell mutations are slowed dramatically. Where did we go wrong? <clears throat> Science log stardate 3263.11. One of the metamice bit and infected one of the lab techs today. We're putting him into cryonic hibernation to slow the progress of the disease, but I'm afraid without a cure, his chances of survival are non existent. The experiment is a failure and is scheduled to be terminated. Now, what am I going to do? I've got an entire warehouse full of this slop. H. H. Almost done with the exposition. We only have accounting left. Plop. There we go. CSI drives. Something, something. Amigo 9000. Woo! Astro Chicken 3. Blown's card. Beast Suave. Dandy 2500. External BD modem. Ramjet scanner. Ramis T Quirk. Mm hmm. 50,000, and they even say a bribe? <laughs> you have a. Okay, there's nothing special. So he's been given a bribe. Quirk, bribe, bribe. Corona Ale! Mitsuki Monitor. Phony camcorder programmer cubes. <laughs> Rafter. Refrigerated target to. Yeah. That's it. Fly away. That's what we needed to do. We need to exit and we need to get some help from Cliffy. And hopefully, well actually I remember this being a bit tricky because he might actually try to kill us. Oh, by the way, I just need to have a quick look again. So, yeah, this one worked. This one didn't. This one this one. So that, that, then is that, and that. Okay. More or less so I know. It's supposed to be five points, so... Well, uh, crap. Let's see now. That. Yeah. Okay. I got an idea now. Okay. I'll just save the game again, because Cliffy is an asshole and he's going to try and kill us. Okay! Now, we just have to... Well, I guess just click on him. Oh, that was that simple. Cliffy, it's just a hunch, but I think there's something wrong with the transporter. Can you describe the problem, sir? I don't remember his voice. <laughs> Come on. Will you look at me? I'm a fly! You sure are. What happened to the rest of you? I think, uh, I mean, he... Uh, it crawled into the trash bin now uh, back. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can fix you up. Where's this dumpster? I think it's behind that large rock outcropping. Lead the way, Captain! Excuse me, Captain. I'm going to scan the per perimeter. Perimeter. Something. Uh, behind the rock outcropping. Is that like over here? Yeah, here it is. There he is. Here's your body, Captain. Mm, some people might say you've never looked better. I think I can fix you up, Captain. I just have to reverse the phase polarity on the transporter interface grid. You need to park yourself on an old dung breath, breath here for me to descramble the two of you. Okay. 
only else do that then. Whee! Here goes nothing. Energize. Okay, what's going to go wrong now? Boy, Captain, am I sure glad you're back to normal. You're really starting to bug me. Ha! That's not funny, Chief. Sorry, sir. How do you feel? Except for a strange urge to go jump in that fertilizer bin and roll around, I feel pretty normal. This sure is got some setup those genetics boys got here. Oh, shit. Anyway, there's a lot of really high-tech gizmos and all kinds of advanced technology. A moment too late, you realize saying the word advanced technology to Cliffy is like showing a photograph of helpless women and children to a Doberman pincher. A hungry gleam comes to your engineer's eye. Oh, really? Why don't we take a closer look at that l lock, Captain? You never know if we can open it. We might even find something we can use against those pukoid critters. I'll meet you there later. Yeah, I'm, I'm not quick at reading at the moment. It seems like I can't keep up with him. Oh, boy. Well, at least we're back to normal. And there comes WD-40. Perimeter secured, Captain Wilco. Here is your communicator, sir. I located it during my scan of the area. Thanks, WD-40. <clears throat> I believe I can be of the most help back on the ship. Please beam me aboard, Cliffy. Thank God. That made it easier for me. Now, we just need to use our hole punch and listen up. Okay, the Merchant of Venus. Okay, we need to make... Punch some holes in this? That's an interesting idea. Oh, come on, punch it! Then one here, and then one here, and one here. There, should be good enough. So remember, it was supposed to be like an X. Ta-da! It looks dangerous down there, Captain. I volunteer to stand guard up here. Now, of course you do, you yellow-bellied coward. Well, here we go. We're inside again. But we've looked through all the... the fun toys in here. So... Let's see, there was a button here. Get closer for... Oh, come on. Normally, you would move over there and press the button. Okay, now then. Ta-da! What do we have here? A pair of liqu liquid nitrogen canisters. Perhaps they could be used against the pucoids. Yes, they could. That's what we need. And that's actually all we need here. There. Come on, just walk over. Okay, I hate when there's segments of the the level. Can we go out? Is it just to walk up to the door? I hate when that happens. What did you find, Captain? I've discovered that the pukoids have a critical weakness. They can't stand the cold. Extremely low temperatures temporarily halts the molecular action of the primordial soup that causes the mutations. Does it reverse the process? I'm afraid not, but at least it's better than nothing. Did you find anything else? I found a couple of canisters of liquid nitrogen. Great! Give them here. Maybe I can rig something up to use against those pucoid critters. I sure hope so, Cliffy. Well, Captain... I think we've done all we can here for now. Let's head back to the ship. Well, what do you want to do? Uh, beam me back. I'll beam us up now, Captain. Vroom! And we are back. 
and Cliff is going to fix stuff by kicking it. There's got to be some way to help Beatrice, Cliffy. I really can't think of any offhand, sir. What about your beastie so excited about? Ooh, Spike! What do you want, boy? I think he's trying to tell us something. What is it, boy? <laughs> okay. He's jumping on the cryo chamber. Is that it, Spike? You want us to jump on the cryo chamber? <laughs> I don't think so, sir. Now he's jumping on the transporter. Well, your pet is smarter than you, Roger. What do you think the critter is trying to tell us, Captain? Ah, crap! Uh... What did I press? Do you think the critter is trying to tell? Yeah. That the mill is on fire. I think that was the one that I was trying to to press before. Uh, let's see now. We should jump on the cryo chamber. No, no, no. It's this one. It's kind of obvious. You know, it just might work. Good boy, Spikey. Get the ambassador ready, sir. I'll man the transporter. <laughs> He's such a happy boy. Yeah, put him back before he kills us or something. Whoop. Splash. Okay, I'm going to save the game because I know I might fa fuck up seriously here. It might go really, really bad. Uh, thawing the um, bat. I can't spell either. It's a door. There. I think we're going to save that for the next episode, actually. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you like what you saw, do leave a like and or and or a comment. But for now, I'm going to sign off, and I'll see you guys later.